Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. And today we're going to be looking at a kind of a different type of case. Uh, this is called the My Wallet case. It's M I Wallet case. You can go check this out at MyWalletCase.com and make sure that you put My with an I and not with a Y. Now, uh, this is like uh, some of the other wallet cases, although it's a little bit unique in a couple of ways. Um, first, um, it is a genuine leather. Okay, it is a, a really nice leather case, and this is all this company does, is just these wallet cases. And it comes in a couple of different um, colors. It comes in uh, brown or black. Okay, so you can get the brown or the black uh, as we stay in frame here. This is obviously the black. And what it's designed to do is eliminate your wallet because as we all know, uh, when we leave the house, we take our wallet and our phone. And instead of having to do the uh, kind of four pocket uh, pat down, uh, you'll be able to just take one item. So let's kind of go over this. And uh, we're gonna take this out, you know, our fake iPhone. And this is what it comes with. It comes in a nice, uh, you know, packaging, but it comes with the case and the uh, fake iPhone. And uh, it's a nice leather case. Yeah, it smells really good too. It has this clip, this magnetic clip here. Okay. It has uh, an area for your ID, an area for a credit card, uh, another area for credit cards or cash. You can really use this for anything. It fits a, a good deal in, guys. I'm not gonna say, oh, it fits this much in, it fits that much in, um, because obviously it's gonna be uh, personal, you know, whatever you guys are carrying. But I was able to uh, get a bunch of credit cards in here. I had four or five credit cards, two in each slot here, another couple business cards in here, and my ID. Um, now, on this side, it does have this extremely strong and just to show you how strong it is, I really can't, couldn't get it over there, an extremely strong money clip. So you can fit uh, a, a good amount of bills in here. I carried about five or 10 bills in this, um, and it was pretty nice, um, but anything more than 10, you may start to get a little bit, um, you know, unsecure there. So anything that you're putting in there, just make sure that it's secure. Now, putting the phone in, Let's put the phone in and go over all the openings. Obviously, we're gonna undo that flap, that magnetic flap. Slide the phone in. Okay, and then we do the magnetic flap there. Now, it's a really nice, tight flap. Okay, the phone looks great in the, um, in the case there. And uh, the only kind of thing that I really had an issue was is kind of a little bit of the fit and finish on this case. Okay, as you can see on the top, the cutout looks a little bit lopsided. You know, it, it's not straight. So I tried to kind of adjust that, but it just wasn't working for me. So as you can see there, and on the bottom here, the home button is not centered. So just a couple of little things on the fit and finish. Now this doesn't bother me um, when I use my left hand, okay? But when I use my right hand, I kind of have to scooch back over here and hit the home button. So I wish that that was a little bit more uh, finished there. I wish that was a little bit more centered. So I've tried a bunch of things to kind of get it over and that's just kind of how it is. Oh, other than that, the um, now this is an iPhone 4, okay, so uh, other than that, the buttons here, pretty accessible, except for the volume down button. The volume down button is a little bit hidden there, so I wish that um, this was moved down just a little bit so I can get to my volume button there. Now, it looks like it's covered up, but the leather is soft enough that you can, you know, push it through the leather, although, again, just kind of one of the details on that. Okay, uh, the volume up button's fine. The sleep wake button is fine. On the bottom here, okay, uh, there's a, a hole for your speaker and your microphone. Your 30 pin dock connector is open. Again, as you can see here, I wish that this finish was just a little bit tighter. I wish that it was just a little bit more detail there. Um, on this side, looks great. Uh, on the back, again, like I said there, you've got your money clip and you have your credit card ID and everything. So I used this case for about a month or so, guys, and I really enjoyed using it, especially when I was wearing like sweatpants or a pair of shorts or something. I didn't have to have my uh, wallet in one pocket and my keys in, in another and my phone in another. So it just kind of really made things kind of uh, simplistic, I guess you can say. 
um, especially when you're going out to you know a ball game or you're going out for a night on the town maybe you're going out drinking or something you don't want to have to keep track of two different things so you're able to keep track of just one thing you've got your phone your wallet your cash your ID your credit cards whatever it may be now the my wallet case retails for um, I want to make sure I get this right. I think it's $27.99. Yes, $27.99. And you can go check it out at my, my wallet So overall, guys, I think this is a, a good case, especially for a wallet case. The price is just about right. I mean, you pay $35 for a spec case. Um, you're paying $27.99 for a nice leather case that is an all-in-one with your phone and your wallet. Um, again, the only things that I wish uh, they would change in the subsequent versions are a little bit more on the fit and the finish. You know, I wish this was, uh, you know, straight. I wish that the home button was um, lined up a little bit more. I kind of want the, uh, the volume buttons to be a little bit more exposed there and just a little bit tighter on the bottom there. But all in all, great case. Uh, I enjoyed using it. So um, for a first for a first product for my wallet case, I think this is a, a good case. Again, in subsequent versions, I would like to see some of those things uh, improved upon. But if you're looking for an all-in-one case, this may be the case for you. So go check it out at mywalletcase.com. It's available in either black or brown, and it is $27.99. So guys, if you have any questions on this product or any products that we review, shoot me an email. It's Tom Mosha, T-O-M-M-O-C-C-I-A, at buymeaniphone.com. Of course, follow us on Twitter. It's at buymeaniphone. If you want to follow me personally, it's at nerfsqueezer. That's N-E-R-F-S-Q-U-E-E-Z-E-R. -E 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 As always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your, your support. Tell the ones you love you love them today. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.